What's up, folks? So the question is, is it necessary to transition uh, into van life from like maybe living in a car first uh, and then living in a van? Like I always say, everything in this lifestyle comes down to preference. Um, so really, you could start any way you want to. Something I will say that is important to kind of look into ahead of time is like the camping lifestyle. Um, and so even though I feel like van life is a little closer to glamping uh, than like your traditional tent camping and stuff like that, um, I think it would be helpful because some of the things kind of overlap as far as like some of the same equipment, some of the like porta potty toilets, uh, dealing with campgrounds, just stuff like that. Some of the knowledge overlaps. So now this isn't something that I did, but it is something that I recommend. Um, and so I feel like it would have just made the transition a lot easier because I had never really done anything other than like sports. I had done anything outdoors in my life. Um, so it was just kind of like, this was a completely new space. And so I was having to learn both simultaneously. So for example, uh, for your question, so let's say if you wanted a van, but you weren't in a space to afford one right now, I recommend people that while you're trying to get your money together, then you could start looking into camping. Uh, you could rent an RV for a weekend, uh, stuff like that to get yourself kind of more acquainted with the lifestyle. So hope this helps.